Protein foods. Protein is a necessary food that your body uses to make hormones and antibodies, as well as for the construction of tissue, cells, and muscle. Everyone requires protein in their diet, but if you lift weights or participate in endurance sports, you might benefit from upping your consumption and incorporating it into your training regimen at particular times to maximize its muscle-building effects. Studies also suggest that as we get older, we may benefit from eating more protein because it helps minimize the muscle loss associated with aging. Lean muscle mass, growth processes, immune system, and bone density are all aided by protein. Additionally, it can support normal blood sugar levels and improve your body's sensitivity to the hormone insulin, which is important in blood sugar regulation. If losing weight is your main objective, protein is extremely crucial. The macronutrient that takes the longest to digest is protein, which helps us feel fuller for longer. Increasing your protein consumption can also help you lose weight by lowering your total calorie intake, cutting back on mindless nibbling, and maintaining lean muscle mass. Many people want to eat more protein, but it can be challenging to know how to do so in a way that is helpful. More so if you're vegan or vegetarian. You can learn about the recommended daily intake of protein, as well as the top-ranked foods in the video. 1. Salmon. The best absorption and a more comprehensive amino acid profile are found in animal protein sources, which are also the most bioavailable among plant-based protein sources. Salmon, pointing out that it's packed with other essential nutrients like heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids, nearly 22 grams of protein, along with an abundance of B vitamins and selenium are included in each three ounce portion. Two, eggs. We enjoy cooking with them, but what is the protein content of an egg? Approximately six grams of easily digestible protein can be found in one medium egg. A nutritious omelet is a great way to start the day and makes a satisfying post-workout snack. Eggs are a complete protein source because they have every necessary amino acid. In addition, eggs include antioxidants, good fats, vitamins, and minerals. Three. Milk. Foods made from dairy are high in protein and include calcium, which helps to develop bones. Chocolate milk has long been considered the ideal post-workout recovery food due to its combination of fast and slow-releasing whey and casein proteins, as well as energy-boosting carbs. A milk-based fruit smoothie, like this one with raspberries and cranberries, can have the same recuperation-enhancing benefits. 4. Greek yogurt. Protein-rich Greek yogurt tastes fantastic with fruit for breakfast or as a foundation for smoothies. Greek yogurt is rich in calcium and B vitamins, in addition to providing about 20 grams of protein in a 7-ounce serving. Yogurt, which combines casein and whey protein, is a healthy source of protein. If you are lactose intolerant, it might be a good alternative because part of the lactose is eliminated. But if you have any concerns, consult with your healthcare provider. 5. Chicken Chicken breast is a favored high-protein dish among bodybuilders since it's lean and packs roughly 24 grams of protein into a 4-ounce portion. Apart from being high in protein, chicken is also a good source of phosphorus, vitamin B6, and selenium, among other essential elements. 6. Fish and Seafoods Lentils are a great plant-based protein source with about 18 grams of protein per cooked cup. They may be a flexible addition to soups, curries, and salads and are also high in fiber. Seafood and fish are often low in fat and high in protein. Despite having a marginally higher fat content than other types, this can lessen inflammation and stiffness in the joints. 7. Lean Pork 21.6 grams of protein are present in a 100-gram portion of lean pork. All of the essential amino acids, which are among the most affordable and accessible proteins generated from animals, are balanced in pork. Branch-chain amino acids, which are essential for promoting muscle repair, are found in meat, specifically leucine, which makes about one-third of muscle protein, aids in promoting muscle repair following exercise. Since pork is one of the best sources of leucine, it is a perfect addition to a meal or snack after exercise. 8. Cottage Cheese A half-cup portion of cottage cheese has about 12 grams of protein, making it a great high-protein supplement for your diet. In addition, it adds potassium, calcium, and vitamin B12. It also blends well with a wide range of recipes. 9. Soya Eating foods high in soy protein, such as fortified tofu and soy-based beverages, can aid in the healing process if you are intolerant to dairy. 
They may also minimize the risk of heart disease and assist lower cholesterol. 10. Nuts and Seeds If you're always on the go, nuts and seeds make a convenient source of protein. About 50 pistachio nuts include 6 grams of protein along with potassium and salt, which are the electrolytes lost through perspiration during exercising. This quick snack or breakfast dish of pistachios and clementine-flavored couscous is delicious. At 14.5 grams of protein per cup, garbanzo beans are an excellent plant-based protein option. Additionally, they contain a lot of fiber, which can help lower cholesterol, raise feelings of fullness, and lower blood sugar. Vegan diets typically have lower protein intakes than conventional eating patterns, despite the fact that many plant foods are high in protein. It may also be harder to get enough protein on a vegan or vegetarian diet. If you cut out a lot of animal items, such meat and eggs, from your diet. To be sure you're meeting your needs, vegans and vegetarians to incorporate at least two types of plant-based protein in each meal. Selecting two sources can help you obtain a more comprehensive amino acid profile by increasing the protein content while also allowing you to distinguish between the different amino acids. Having one or two high-protein snacks a day can also assist you in fulfilling your demands. Healthy snack ideas include whole grain crackers with cheese, either conventional or vegan, or unsalted nuts. Vegans should also think about complementing proteins like peanut butter and wheat. Nutrients including iron, magnesium, and vitamins B6 and E are found in peanut butter, which makes it a diverse and healthful choice. For people who find it difficult to get enough protein from their diet alone, such as athletes or people with specific dietary restrictions, protein supplements may be helpful. Increasing your protein intake can also be accomplished easily with the use of protein supplements. Vegetarians and vegans may also find it difficult to get enough protein. Thus, they may decide to include protein supplements in their diet. Protein powders shouldn't, however, be used in place of actual meals in your diet. This is due to the fact that meals high in protein also offer a range of other advantageous elements that your body requires in addition to protein. Additionally, if there are certain ingredients you would prefer to avoid, a lengthy list of ingredients is frequently found in protein powders. These ingredients may include thickeners, artificial flavors, added sugar, and other additives. Because of this, it's crucial to carefully review the ingredients list before purchasing any supplements. A third-party organization's testing or certification of the product you choose can also help guarantee the safety of your supplement. The notion of a maximum amount of protein consumed is debatable. The suggested amounts, in the opinion of some experts, are too low. Some people think we eat too much protein. In general, the normal individual who is either a bodybuilder or an excellent athlete does not require significant amounts of protein. For example, a 140-pound person should not consume more than 2 grams per kilogram per day. An overall nutritional imbalance is one of the key concerns associated with excessive protein intake. Overindulgence in protein might result in insufficient consumption of fats and carbohydrates. For general health, it's critical to maintain a well-balanced diet that contains all three macronutrients in appropriate amounts. Furthermore, you might be consuming too many calories without burning enough of them if you up your protein consumption without raising your level of physical activity. This could lead to weight gain. Additionally, there is some indication that people with pre-existing kidney disorders may experience difficulties while following a somewhat high-protein diet. Kidney stones may be more likely in a diet heavy in animal protein. See a certified nutritionist if you think you might not be getting enough protein in your diet on a daily basis. They can offer you individualized advice on the amount of protein you require as well as pointers on how to get it. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.